get it twisted. I really ten toes to the pavement, getting to it, little baby. Yeah, I'm all about my business. What do y'all? It's your boy King Say So, and I'm back with another reaction video. Y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail, so y'all see what's going on. Before we get to it, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you check out the description box and follow my other channels. Make sure you hit that like button because we are on the road to 20k. More people hitting it, the faster we can get to it. Let's get to it. LA usually gets all the attention when it comes to gang culture, but surprisingly, Oakland is also a violent city full of beef. The deadly war between two enemy groups, the Case Gang and Stubby Gang, has been terrorizing the streets of Oakland for close to two decades. Man. The beef got so crazy that authorities assembled a task force which included 27 different law enforcement agencies to put an end to the violence. Let's take a closer look at this bloody war. Oakland has always been a major city for hip hop. Tupac originally started his career in the Bay and rappers like Too Short, Keek the Sneak and MC Hammer put Oakland on the map in the 90s. Oakland is the heart of the Bay Area and has produced a lot of talent but it's also been named one of the most violent cities in America and has a long history of gang violence. Two of the wildest gangs in Oakland are the Case Gang and Stubby Gang, also known as ENT. These groups have been at each other's necks for decades and their beef has led to countless murders, shootouts, robberies, and other crimes. Stubby Gang was created around 2011 in East Oakland. Unlike LA, which has strict politics around who controls certain blocks and territories, gangs in Oakland are more spread out. Stubby gang members are known to be found in the ghost town or the 70s, but can be located anywhere in East Oakland. They're also often known as E and T, which are the initials of two or three fallen members of the gang. The E and N stands for Edward Hampton and Nario Jackson, two 17-year-old Stubby gang members who were killed in 2010. There is some disagreement over what the T stands for. Some claim it's short for a third fallen member of the group named Taliban, who was killed by Oakland police. Others say it stands for team, as in Edward and Nario team. Even though Stubby Gang was founded over 10 years ago, all the original members have either died or gone to jail, making this a whole new wave of Stubby Gang members. Stubby Gang is also known as the Threes because E and T is three letters. They are affiliated with another local gang called the Two Letter Gang or just the Twos. The Twos and the Threes are known to be with another East Oakland gang called the Fours aka Case Gang. The Case Gang is considered even more deadly than the Stubby Gang. They've been active on the streets since at least the 90s and were called the most terrifying gang in Oakland by police in the early 2000s. That's crazy, they were originally known as the Nutcases and have really managed to live up to that title. The group was led by a dude named Leon Wiley who was sentenced to life in prison in 2008. Wiley, along with eight other case gang members, were arrested in 2003 after a wild crime spree that lasted 10 weeks and resulted in five homicides and a bunch of robberies. Wiley and his associates were accused of killing five innocent strangers which included a 14 year old and participating in nine robberies and 100 muggings. Wiley himself was accused of participating in at least three of the murders. Prosecutors even blamed the gang Grand Theft Auto for the violent crime spree. The nutcases admitted that they would get high and play GTA during the day, then go out night and live out the game in real life. After being oh, given so the life sentence, the, they Wiley the shouted gang. at the judge, I don't give a f I'm not scared of none of that shit. I don't care. I got nowhere to go. I'm Gotti. I'm Tweety. Nutcases. So clearly, he was on demon time and didn't care about the consequences of his crime spree. But just like Stubby Gang, most of the founding members of Case Gang are dead or behind bars. Today, a whole new generation of savages is roaming the streets. Most members of Case Gang are known to live in a neighborhood called Boss Land, specifically the Hillside Apartments, but they can also be found in other parts of East Oakland, just like their rivals. It's been rumored that the Nutcases were the dominant gang in Oakland in the 90s and all the other local gangs were formed to go against them, including Stubby Gang. Their beef goes back as this far as the slang of Edward Hampton bro, and no Mario Jackson, Jackson who were allegedly killed by someone affiliated with the Case Gang. This sparked a deadly war that continues to this day. The history of this beef is too bloody to name all the individual hits and shootouts between the two gangs. But the violence got so bad that local police had to bring on the help of 27 different law enforcement agencies to take down the gangs in an investigation they called Operation Windstar. More than yeah. 50 people arrested, 40 guns confiscated. Today, investigators detailed a deadly gang war that spanned from Oakland to Antioch. They uncovered it during uh, the investigation of a homicide last year. During their investigation, authorities created a timeline of events that detailed a series of murders that began in January 2020 and led up to the present. A wave of shootings in the summer of 2020 would be the spark behind the investigation and eventually lead to a series of arrests in 2021. Like, where you gotta be, man. A 19-year-old member of Stubby oh, Gang named Charles plan, Bolden bro. Jr. was shot on 77th Ave. Just two days later, shots were fired into the home of Case Gang member 
Donjae Young in Antioch, California. Antioch is a peaceful suburban city about 40 minutes from Oakland. The shooting was a huge surprise to neighbors and local law enforcement who were not used to that kind of violence in their neighborhood. Young barely survived the first shooting, only to be shot again just 13 days later outside his own home. Damn. He was survived the second time as well, only to be gunned down a few weeks later on August 29th, 2020. Oh yeah, they really wanted you. The killer you. allegedly spotted him they in front really of his wanted home in Antioch, you, chased him down, That's crazy. and shot him with an AR style pistol. After he was That's hit, a, the killer then stood over him, letting off more shots to make sure that he was dead. The brutality of this murder would shock Antioch police, who had already been receiving complaints from residents. The crime rate in the area had spiked after a new Section 8 program had brought more low-income residents from Oakland into Antioch, so police on, were desperate bro. to solve this murder before more happened again. They responded by launching a major investigation into the murder. The more they dug, the more they uncovered the blood trail left in the wake of the case gang, Stubby Gang Beef. After reviewing surveillance footage from the area, they determined that Young's killers fled in a silver Ford Windstar minivan. This is where Operation Windstar truly began. KTVU's Andre Senior joins us now live That's with the details. Wow, bro! What was called Operation One Windstar. month he went through all Andre. that. And good evening to you, Julie. The reason it was called Operation Windstar because of the minivan that was seen driving away from the scene of the murder that touched off this whole investigation. An eyewitness who saw the shooting was able to help authorities create a sketch of the alleged killers. This eventually led police to the father-son duo of Charles Bolden Jr., age 19, and Charles Bolden Sr., age 42. Police arrested seven wow. people, among them a father and son, 42-year-old Charles Bolden and his 19-year-old son of the same name. Authorities say the investigation has led to the arrests or identities of 36 adults and 15 juveniles from both gangs who are connected to drug sales, violence, and murder. The son was the stubby gang affiliate who was shot on 77th Ave. Just two days before, Don Jay Young was shot for the first time. So it seems oh, like Junior was out for oh, revenge and took his father with him to finish the job. This led authorities to realize that this I was if, if you're gonna with somebody, a decade-long gang beat one. that was being passed from one generation to the next. Just two days after Young was murdered, two stubby gang members were allegedly shot at more than 56 times with an AR-15, but both would survive. Not long after, a memorial was held for Don Jay Young outside the house in Antioch where he was killed. Stubby gang members pulled up to the scene and let off at least 13 shots, but luckily, no one was hit. The same house would be shot up again months later in December 2020. Young's family Damn. was home at the time, but no one was seriously injured. On February 27, 2021, a 21-year-old case gang member was pumping gas at a gas station in Antioch when a stubby gang member hopped out of a car and started shooting at him. Other case gang members with the victim at the time started firing back. The victim was shot a total of 10 times, but survived after being rushed to the hospital. Case gang wouldn't waste Dude, any lucky. time with the payback and would shoot up a known ENT spot later that same day. No one was hit, but police were already on high alert for possible gang activity and would end up detaining the suspects after a long foot chase. A total of seven case gang members were caught, along with multiple weapons. Police were able to determine that the bullets in the guns they recovered matched the shell casings found in the parking lot of the gas station, proving that the two shootings were related. Just 10 days after that, in March 2021, stubby gang members would be looking for payback. They would sit outside the home of a case gang member on Aspen Way in Antioch all day, just waiting for the right moment to strike. When their target finally stepped outside to get into a vehicle, they popped out and started letting off shots. Both the target and the person driving the car were hit. They had to be airlifted to the hospital, but survived. The city of Antioch is much different That's than these crazy. Oakland. They the said I do no house, bro. With the police. They submitted surveillance footage, eyewitness testimony, and all kinds of other evidence to help police stop the violence in the community. With this information, police were able to obtain search warrants to raid the homes of suspected gang members in Oakland and Antioch. During the search, they recovered over 40 firearms and more than $100,000 in cash. Damn. This also led to the arrest of stubby gang members Eric Windham and Keyshawn McGee for the shooting that occurred on Aspen Way in March. They also assembled a fugitive task force to take down other members of the gang who were still on the run. They pulled over a suspect named Trent Allen, who ended up getting out of his car and fleeing the scene on foot before being questioned by police. After a long chase through an office park and a residential neighborhood, he was eventually taken into custody. They also located two suspects, Terion and Armani Pugh, who were hiding out at a safe house in American Canyon, California. Terion tried to flee, but was later captured, and Armani was taken without any issues. They were all arrested for their involvement in the Aspen Way shooting. Terion Pugh was also linked to the gas station shooting that occurred 10 days earlier and hit with separate charges. Operation Windstar was considered a major success that managed to take down several high-ranking members of both gangs. Bruh. In total, 36 members were identified and arrested for crimes, including murder, assault, 
robbery, and possession of illegal firearms and narcotics. Oh. It seems like Stubby Gang got a little too cocky and started doing dirt outside of their own city. It's easier to get away with street activities in the hood, where residents are either bound by the street code or scared to cooperate with authorities. But when you start doing drive-bys in the suburbs, you have to expect that the neighbors are going to snitch. Hopefully, yeah, this investigation know puts they like, man, the come get these people, Stubby Gang bro. now that they know they're being watched. Too many people have already been killed in this deadly beat. But with so many lives lost, it seems like the war will continue once the heat dies down. Damn. If you thought uh, this video was crazy. That's that whole video was crazy. That was it was back to back to back to back to back. That's wow, bro. Make sure I like comment, subscribe, catch the next video. Look, don't get it twisted. I really ten toes to the payment, getting to it, little baby. Yeah, I'm all about my business.